Anna and today I'm going to show you how to make Cricut infusible ink coasters. It's really simple to do. It was my very first time using infusible ink and don't be intimidated. Okay, I got you. I'm going to walk through it with you step by step. And a great big thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. All the products and supplies will be linked below in the description box. And I think that these coasters are a really perfect gift for this holiday season. You can personalize them around the interests of your special loved one, which is what I did. So my mom is an avid gardener. She has tons of plants in her garden. And on every coaster, I put a different plant that she actually grows in her garden. And I was able to find everything that I need in Cricut Access. So the plants that are on the coasters actually look really similar to to the plants in her garden. I did not have to like go purchase SVG files or anything like that. Every part of my design came directly from a Cricut Access. Your special loved one might not be a gardener, but you can still run with the same idea. So let's say you know somebody who is a girl boss. She's an entrepreneur, right? You could do one that says girl boss. You could do one with the name of her company. You could do one maybe with her business tagline. Or if you know someone who's really into animals, you could do each coaster like with the name of their pet, one with a picture of a dog. Or if you know someone who's really into essential oils, you could do like one that says lavender, one that says lemon, one for peppermint, one for thieves, and just like a little graphic on each one. Even if you don't know a gardener, just take the idea, run with it, and make it apply to someone that you know. I need for today's DIY, of course, you will be needing a Cricut machine. I'm using my Cricut Explore Air 2, some Cricut infusible ink ceramic coaster blanks. And I have here a pack of 30 um, Cricut infusible ink pens. Of course, I'm not using all 30. The two that I'll be using today in particular are the colors dark gray and then also gray. You will need some heat resistant tape. You can get this from the Cricut website. Uh, you can get it at Michael's. You'll need a light grip mat and the light blue mat is the light grip one. We're gonna be using laser printer paper, which is why we are going with the light grip mat. If you have too strong of a grip, then it's probably going to ruin your paper when you're trying to peel it off. You will need an easy press mat and it's gonna be really important to have a laser printer paper. That is what Cricut says to use. I went to the office supply store last night. It costs a good 20-ish dollars to buy laser printer paper. I walked over to the printing center and I told the lady what I was doing hey I'm just making a crafting project can I just buy some of the laser paper out of your printers that you guys use because it's only what 10 15 cents per sheet she actually just opened up the printer gave me a few sheets of paper which is what I have right here so just in case you don't want to buy the whole ream of laser paper go ahead and shoot your shot you're going to also need some cardstock to put on your easy press mat or when the easy press is on it because if you don't have the cardstock the infusible ink is going to bleed through onto your easy press mat the cardstock i have <laughs> is like 24 inches long you really don't need your cardstock to be that big i just didn't have the eight and a half by 11. i thought i was ordering regular size cardstock from um, the cricut website and nope this is what i got so just regular cardstock will actually do the trick. You are going to also need some butcher paper, okay? So this is um, some butcher paper that I have. You can get it off Amazon. And everything that I'm using, I will link it all down below. And of course, none of this is gonna work without an easy press. Here's mine. So you're gonna need an easy press as well. We're starting off in design space. I'm going to click on circle and we'll move our circle kind of over to the middle. We'll come over to size and make the size 3.6, which is the size of an infusible ink coaster by Cricut. I like to make the color white so it's just a little easier to work with. And let's duplicate that three times because I'm making three. I'm sorry, I'm making four uh, coasters. The coasters do come in a pack of four. Okay, and so let's go over to images and I am going to put garden in the search. Let's start with the mint plant. This to me kind of looks like a mint plant, which my mom does have mint growing in her backyard. And we want the color to be uh, dark gray. I think this is really pretty. It has almost a mauve type, um, almost like a hint of mauve in it. And then let's also insert this plant that looks a little like moringa which is another plant my mom has in her garden 
and all the infusible ink colors are at the very bottom of the scroll down menu and now we can add in the words so this first plant is mint and let's change the style to writing and I like um, Emmeline, E-M-I, and it's this one. Okay, so let's drag our word kind of over into its own space. I like to make my um, font really big so that I can manipulate and work with it really easily. We'll ungroup. And then once I have all the letters placed just so, I will um, regroup the letters and get them back down to the right size. So that looks good to me. I'm going to highlight it all and group. And now I can move it around and the letters are still attached. Okay, so we'll put this inside of this coaster. And We'll make our mint a little bit smaller. I'm going to select the whole thing and attach it. Okay, and I'll do the same thing to the other four coasters. Select it all and attach. So when you're done making your design and everything looks just the way you want it to, you're going to come to the far right and click make it up at the top. It's the green button that for some reason is not showing on my screen. So the material size is going to default to 12 by 12. Make sure that you change that to eight and a half by 11. That's the size of the, the laser printer paper. Once you've done that, you want to click the little button here that says mirror. You always are going to mirror your designs when you're using infusible ink. I'm gonna do browse all materials. And I'm going to go down to the category of paper. And this is copy paper. Actually, no, this is laser copy paper. So I'll do that one. And I need to load the tools and material. So first I'm going to load the dark gray infusible ink pen. There are two slots, I guess, or blade houses. I don't know, friends, I am a beginner still, okay? One is labeled A and the other is labeled B. So we're gonna open up A and then just stick the pen down in there until it clicks. I heard the click and now I'm gonna close it. Easy peasy. We're gonna just slide that in. We can see the arrow flashing, so let's just press. We can see the C is flashing, so we're just gonna press that. So if you don't have a Cricut yet, but you've been looking into it, girl, tis the season. Go ahead and throw it on your Christmas list. Or, you know, sometimes you just have to treat yourself and it's just a good feeling like when you first get it. I was gifted my Cricut actually from Cricut and I was just like a kid on Christmas when I got my big box filled with my Cricut and all my Cricut goodies and I love it. Like I made so many different things and I just really enjoy having one. So you know how sometimes you buy things and you're just like, dang it, I should not have bought that. I don't really need it. I don't think you'll feel that way about a Cricut. Um, there's just so much that you can do with it. So I feel like Cricut is really just the gift that keeps on giving because if you receive it as a gift, there are so many things you can do to gift other people and that's what I plan on doing. Okay, and here is my project. Everything looks good except for this black pen mark. I don't know how that happened. So I'm probably gonna have to do this one over. So we're just gonna flip it over and pull back the... And it comes off so easily because again, this is a light grip mat and I'm doing it this way, holding down the paper as I pull back the mat to reduce the curling. See how the edges are not really curled up? It's pretty much flat. I've put down a sheet of green paper so that my coaster doesn't blend into the white desk. And I just have a microfiber cloth. So I'm going to just wipe my coasters down, make sure there's no lint or dust on them. And so what I'm gonna do now is take each of my pieces that have been cut out and place them face down on the coaster. 
cut a long strip of heat resistant tape into little pieces and I'm just sticking mine onto my Cricut and then I can easily uh, adhere the laser paper to all of the coasters. Once you have your assembly line of tape laid out, go ahead and put the design face down on your coaster. I used four pieces of heat resistant tape on each coaster that might be overdoing it, but look, I did not want to take any chances of the paper shifting around on the coaster and potentially ruining my beautiful design. And so I have my easy press mat here. I'm going to put a piece of cardstock on top of it. So let me turn on my easy press. Let's set the temperature to 400 degrees for 240 seconds. Oh, why am I pressing down? I need to be going up. So while I'm waiting for that to heat up, let me go ahead and prep the coasters. These are going to be face down. So here you can see it's face up because you can see the print there. So we're gonna flip it upside down and I'm just gonna put them all close together so they can all be under the heat press at one time. And over this, I am going to put some butcher paper. The Easy Press is heated up and ready to go because the little cricket symbol is green right here. And when I put the Easy Press on my coasters, I'm not gonna like shift or move it at all. I'm just gonna place it right where it needs to be. This is really, really hot. Okay, and press the button and let it do what it does. This is a quick tip. Whenever I am doing Cricut projects, I like to, when I'm letting it cool down, take it off of the mat because the mat holds heat. That's like the whole purpose of the mat. And so I feel like it kind of takes longer to cool if it stays on the mat. I'm just gonna let those sit there for a minute and cool down. It's been about 10 minutes since I took the Easy Press off. Now they're not completely cool yet, but they feel like hot stones. You know, like when you go get a pedicure and they put the hot stones on your legs and it just feels really good. Let's take the tape off and see how they came out. So you can see why it's important that we put the cardstock down because if we didn't, all of this would have gotten onto the Easy Press mat. Okay, let's start off with the Moringa. Ooh, look how dark that is, very pigmented, very pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Cerisee next. Guys, Cerisee is the tea that if you have anything at all like going on with your stomach, like you have a tummy ache, you're not feeling well, all you do is you take one sip, like literally a sip of Cerisee tea and your life is set straight. So pretty, she is gonna love it. I love it. I don't even want to give, like I do want to give them to her, but I guess I kind of also want some of my own. Let's do the mint next. I love the, the contrast of the gray plant with the darker print. I think that is so pretty. There is a project in design space that has like black and white plants already done, but I think this is so beautiful. Like if you can take it to the next level, personalize it a little bit more. Okay, and then this is sorrel. When I went home for Thanksgiving, I was harvesting sorrel with my mom. She grows sorrel in her backyard. This is beautiful. I think I might love this one the most. So we have sorrel, you can have mint, moringa, and cerisee. So all of her coasters have different types of tea on them. And so what better than a mug, right? And I think, no, I know she's gonna love it. So I decided to make my mom this mug using permanent glitter, shimmer, premium vinyl. I was looking for something in Cricut that said she's in her garden. I couldn't find it, but that is the beauty of a Cricut. If you have an idea, you can bring it to life. The font for she's in is a Cricut font. Her is a Cricut font. And then this beautiful word garden was in Cricut access. So I think she's gonna love it. The black shimmer vinyl is really pretty. So is the gold, but I feel like the black just pops better on the mug. And so here you have it. These are my Christmas gifts. Like I said before, all the links are down below. I hope that you enjoyed this video, learned something new. And if you did enjoy it, then be sure to subscribe. I definitely have more Cricut content on the way. And uh, give this video a thumbs up to like it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.